what's up guys just in case you hear Elysium risk management uh, we have a really good interesting video here for you today okay uh, our past couple of videos have been about OPSEC it's been about OSINT uh, this one here we're going to have a look at a tool that's used by hackers okay uh, it's, I know it's an interesting topic for a lot of people but it's not just that it's interesting I think people need to be more aware and that's what our new cyber security awareness training is all about okay and um, so we're gonna have a look at this tool, okay? This this tool is used by hackers all over the world. It's used by pen testers, um, and it's so easy to use uh, that a ten year old could do it, okay? Especially today, as ten year olds, they they're, they're navigating their way around the internet and YouTube since the age of six. Um, so we're gonna have a look at these two images, okay? Uh, your standard USB stick, okay? Or what most people believe maybe your standard usb stick one of them is okay one of these is a, just a normal everyday run-of-the-mill usb stick the other is what we call a usb rubber ducky okay see can you tell the difference between the two there's no obvious difference not to the naked eye okay uh, the only way to tell the difference is we need to open it up okay and this is the inside this is the guts of the usb rubber ducky as you can see, I'm not sure if you know what your standard USB uh, board is like, but uh, as you can see, it is it's a bit different. Okay, so what it has instead inside is an SD card. Okay, an SD card, same one that you have in phones and and the cameras and this kind of thing. Okay, uh, but the way it works, if you plug in a standard USB stick into a computer. The, the computer recognizes that as a storage device and it knows it maybe it's for storing files, your favorite movies, your favorite music, pictures of your summer holiday, God knows what, okay? Um, but when you plug in a USB rubber ducky into a computer, it recognizes it as what's known as a HID. And a HID just stands for a human interface device. And your most common human interface device that most people have or most people have used is a standard keyboard okay uh, when you have a computer you plug the keyboard into the computer using usb so it's the same the same kind of method okay uh, so what happens here is the computer believes that this is a human interface device it, be it listens to whatever this says because it believes that it's a human at a keyboard telling it what to do okay but by looking at it, it's clearly not a keyboard, okay? So what happens is you load a script onto this SD card, you plug it in, the computer thinks that it's somebody at a keyboard typing this script. So it does whatever the hell it's told, okay? And when we talk about scripts, okay, uh, you don't need to go do a big Python course or learn some Java, anything like that. Uh, the USB rubber ducky, uh, it's designed by the guys, by Darren Kitchen and the team over at Hack5, okay? Uh, great company, they have some some great equipment. I, I purchased quite a couple of their, their tools and equipment. Um, so it uses a language, what's known as ducky script. And ducky script is so easy. Um, so this, this is the script, okay? I'll walk you through the script very quickly, okay? Just to give you a rundown. So delay, delay just means it's going to delay, it's going to wait. 3000 milliseconds okay and that's just to give it time to for the computer to recognize it and, and and prepare the driver get ready to go next it's going to press gui which is the windows key on the keyboard then it's going to hit the letter r and i'll just show you very quickly what this does that's the windows key the letter r and it's going to open up this then it's going to hit enter and it's going to open up this 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 our run our run program okay and then it's going to put in a string. A string is basically just text, okay? So it's, the text is already here, as you can see. And what it's going to do, it's going to type iExplore, which tells the computer, open up Internet Explorer, okay? And go to this link, okay? So as you can see, it typed it in. If I click that now, that's going to do exactly that, okay? And it opens up to this page. And what it is is pictures of a hot dog, okay? Next, it's going to press Alt-F. So if I press alt and f it opens up this then it's going to string a so it's going to press a and that's save as so it's going to save it and we'll just excel this 
So it's going to save it onto the computer and it's this is what it's going to type. It's going to save it as the user profile, okay, whatever the user profile is, and it's going to save it as hotdog.jpg, okay? Then it's going to wait, it's going to press enter and save it, okay? And then it's going to close the window. Next up, what it's going to do is it's going to open the paint application, okay? Uh, for many of you old timers out there, paint was, was the tool back in the day uh, with computers, okay? Um, next up then once it opens uh, the paint app it's then going to open up that image that we saved from earlier it's going to open up that in the paint app uh, and then what it's going to do is it's going to it's going to select the image and it's going to save it as the background the wallpaper okay so this is just a small basic script just as for fun basically just just to show you what it's all about okay but we'll talk about how dangerous it can be in a minute um so this is our standard standard wallpaper at the minute okay no hot dogs um so there's the script so what you do is you copy that script as you can see here the delays are delay 100 100 100 what i've done is uh, you copy and paste that into here this is the duck toolkit okay and what this does is this encodes it into an inject.bin file and saves it onto the sd card which goes into the rubber ducky and um, but what i've done here is i'm not sure if you can notice I've changed all of them from 100 to 400. Okay, so it's four times slower than what it can be. Okay, and the only reason I've done this is because I'm running uh, a screen capture software in the background just to record the desktop, and therefore the computer is just a little bit slower. Okay, so I've slowed everything down to make sure it works right, and just to give you all an example. Okay, so what we're going to do now is uh, I'm going to plug it in, and we'll show you. Hopefully, we have hot dogs in the screen now in a minute. Uh, so I'm going to plug it in. I'm not going to press anything else. Okay, everything you see is going to be the script running from the USB rubber ducky. So that's it plugged in. It's going to take a second. And it's just going to run. So just give it a watch. So it's opening up the website. It's going to save that picture. Like I said, I've slowed all this down. So it's usually four times quicker than this if that's even imaginable and done it's going to close that and we're done in the space of a couple of seconds and it's gone and ran that script okay and we now have hot dogs as our background okay so you might say oh well i don't care i like hot dogs i don't care about changing my wallpaper it's an easy fix but this is just a proof of concept okay um, let's have a look at some of them okay as you can see here these are the scripts okay these are just some of the scripts you can write your own but these are some readily available and like you see it's just copy and paste it's that easy copy paste plug it in and that's it it's done okay so here's some of them okay this one export browser passwords and email results so what this does is all you all the login details for your facebook for your email for god knows what you're logging into it takes all of that from the computer and it emails the results back to me. So I can plug this into your computer after a couple of seconds, take it back out and then go check my emails. And now I have all your passwords for all the, for everything. Okay. Uh, there's 123 of them here. Okay. For different, for Mac, for Linux, for Windows. Uh, there's all sorts. Okay. Uh, you can get reverse shells with this um there we go mimi cat payload um so that means someone could plug this in and after say three seconds plug it back out and they practically own your computer from anywhere in the world they could access your computer knock on your your mic turn on your camera go to your file see everything you're doing okay just for three four seconds of access to your usb port okay so yeah it's interesting we're going to cover this on our course okay we have a course coming up uh cyber uh cyber security awareness training course uh, check it out get on to us if you're interested let us know uh we'll sign you up for the course um but another frightening thing okay so you buy these these cost roughly about 50 euros okay but if you're going to be using them it's well money well spent in my eyes okay but what i've also learned after that okay there's this one here okay uh and this this one costs about one euro. Okay.
Uh, yes, it doesn't look like your standard USB, but it does the exact same thing as the rubber ducky, and it costs about one euro. Okay, so for one euro, copy and paste, plug it in, someone can own everything you have, okay, on your computer. Um, so yeah, check it out. Uh, yeah, I won't, I won't talk too much more, I'll try to keep the video short, but yeah, get on to us if you're interested in checking out our course, or if you want us to do a video about something, something maybe you've wondered about, questions about, something you want to see, get on to us, let us know. Please share the video, drop us a like, follow the page, and yeah, look forward to hearing from you. Until next time.